song already right. <clears throat> it is that was quick <clears throat> good afternoon evening morning whatever time it is welcome um i haven't picked music yet that was that was unhistory unfolds which i clicked on because it said epic classical epic and dreamy that, that was not epic and dreamy for me uh that was far too exciting so let's let's find some chill music um, let's also turn it way down because I know it's going to be super loud. And I'm probably super quiet today. Um, you'll notice I have a different microphone. I don't have my headset microphone on today. I have a real one out here. Hello. <clears throat> because my my voice is a little bit gross and you don't need that right in your, right in your ear. So you can, have, you can have a little bit of distance. What do you expect from Epic? Ex I don't know. I mean, more than more than two minutes worth of music, to be fair. <clears throat> like, Lord of the Rings was an epic. That was longer than two minutes. Uh, or is that a saga? I can never remember. Um, all right. Chill. Focus and relax. What What is focus and relax? Solo piano, small drama. It's not a very long playlist, but but hey, let's let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. Okay. <clears throat> uh let me know how the volume is. It's good for me, but I can adjust. <clears throat> this is voice meter if you haven't seen it. Voice meter is the absolute best thing you can use if you don't have every physical input separate and a physical mixer. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so first, since you're here, Anka, I figured I'd I'd show you some of the graph because I figured you'd be here, and I don't know where anyone else is. But who really? I don't care. I'll just chat to you. Uh, this this is some of the graph. This is actually the compositing step because the compositing step is how you get this cool cross glow, which is actually just this glare plugin. This this is really cool. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, voice, it, it, it takes a bit to figure out how to get voice meter right. And often it means changing everything else you're doing as well. <clears throat> so there's that, it's no big deal. <clears throat> so the compositing section in Blender is really cool. <clears throat> Kept reassigning device, uh, yeah. Well, it'll, it'll fight with your drivers as well. And if you've got one of those smart drivers that's like, oh, I, I think you just plugged in headphones. Is that quiet enough? It feels a little loud to me. 
Is that even... Oh yeah, no, you can hear that. It's A1. <clears throat> yeah, if you got if you got some of those clever drivers that are like, oh, you just plugged in a headset. I can tell because I can hear the microphone there, and it'll change things. It, it doesn't doesn't always get along with those. <clears throat> uh, but you know, eh. whatever. Uh, so yeah, so this is this is the compositing view where I can take basically the original. So when you render an image, if you just do a single render, and I think I've still got this. Here's my last render. You can, you can render everything in multiple passes. So, uh, so I get the combined image. I have the noisy image, which is before noise reduction. Uh, but I also rendered an emission one, and this is like everything that's lit up with, uh, with emitted lighting and none of the rest. So this is stuff that has you know, emits its own light and it gets rendered in a separate image so that I have it, which is cool. And then in compositing, you can take that. So that's the emit output here, which I put the alpha back in because it gets taken out and then use this glare plugin. So it's like, that looks like that bit once the alpha is in. And then add the glare and it's it's a star glare so it's designed to do that and then merge that back into the final result and so that's how you get that cool uh, cross and everything following and without that it all just kind of looks plain that's like the biggest thing that I figured out for this <clears throat> and then the rest of it am I getting yay twitch twitch gives you mobile notifications when you start streaming that's dumb that's dumb twitch I know turn off um, and then the rest of it's just in this. So I have a particle system that's dropping the sparks. Uh, that was a challenge as well. And then there's the graph line. Yeah, and you can see it flickering. Like, now that I go back through this, it is actually flickering there. Like, why, why did it do that? I, I don't know why it did that. I can probably figure it out. Anyway, basically, I have... <clears throat> In case you accidentally start streaming while being in the shower, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I always hit that start streaming button from the shower. It's it's just, you know, the keys are right next to each other. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, so I made the graph first. This is a Bezier curve. I mean, the, there's a reference image as well, which I'm going to use a reference image for today. So I stuck the reference image in, drew kind of this bookshelf around the back. Uh, and then made a Bezier curve and whoop, didn't want to do that. We're going to get through this playlist so quick. Uh, made a Bezier curve and if you, I forget what the button was, but it's like control right click lets you just click on every point. So it's just like control click, 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 click. I had to go through and tighten them up. They all made like really big round curves. <clears throat> uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's just that kind of straight line. And I kept that as a path. I duplicated it and uh, duplicated it and then converted it to a mesh and extruded it and then solidified it with a couple of things to get kind of this actual 3D one. I don't know where that's rotating around, but it's not doing what I expected. <clears throat> so that's the 3D one. Uh, four. The, you can't see the ball moving because of the particles. So there's a little ball that follows it along. Turn the music a tiny bit down. Yeah, probably. Feels kind of loud to me as well. <clears throat> so I've got this ball, uh, which it's a fireball, basically. I made a cool volumetric texture, which you don't get to see at all. Uh, <clears throat> that basically follows follows it along. And that is, uh, so typically you do like a modifier to follow path. And if you do follow path, then you can pick that curve that I had earlier and say, follow this path. And then it'll have like a, uh, 
a time parameter that you then just like keyframe animate one to one for one and it'll it'll follow the curve with each frame i didn't use that in this because it follows it by length and because this is a graph i wanted it to like just go left to right in time and then match the vertical so to make it do that i animated the left to right across the whole thing and so that is just like keyframed from the start to the finish and it interpolates in between uh, and then it's got this constraint on it to, to clamp the y value to the path so wherever it happens to be kind of what um Uh, no, because the main path is Y. So because it's following, so yeah, wherever it happens to be within Y, it's going to clamp to where the path is. So if the path moves up or down, if it moves left or right, uh, or, you know, in or out, then the ball's going to follow it. So that's basically that. The the path hider, which is how I made that whole thing go, is this box. And it's just got a Boolean modifier on the path off that box that says only show the path where it intersects with the box and so then the box moves because it's just animated I think to follow the ball uh, and then the path appears and sometimes the path disappears and I didn't even notice that shouldn't self intersection shouldn't matter oh self intersection does matter Oh boy, it's slow. Um, yeah, path height, path height is, is Z, but the main axis is the one, or the, the main axes are the ones that the object controls, not the ones that get clamped. So if I set, uh, I, I don't know exactly where on the path it would show up to, um, <clears throat> or where, where on the object it would go to, but basically it'll match it may only be for a path actually basically that's the the free variable not the not the constrained ones uh looks like maybe self-intersection would have would have worked i don't know why that makes a difference apart from oh boy the performance is so bad now that's so slow So yeah, there's probably some reason it's doing that. I don't know what it is, but that's how I did it. That's how I did it. And then it's all just got like cool materials. Uh, it's based on the ver <clears throat> on the vertex color. And so like the, uh, the, the graph line, I just painted the red bits red and the rest of it's blue. And then it's just gonna, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, that's that's that. That's how I did all of that. Pretty cool. Now we're going to do anchor is a bus because that's what the image was called. So I've given this zero thought so far. Uh, so so you know, let's let's see what happens. Add the reference image. Anchor is a bus. There you are. Um, okay. Now, the first thing that I kind of recognize here is the perspective is not... It's not the... Like, is, is that... Kind of the... It's, it's, it's just not... Is it like that? I kind of want to, I don't know, may, maybe I'll just keep that to one side as a reference, uh, as like a true reference. And you know, not even try and match it one to one. Uh, 
Uh, it's a nice curvy drawing, but I'm not going to be so, so nice and curvy. At least initially. Maybe I'll be able to get the curves in later on. I can probably make it curve later on, yeah. Okay, let's just take that one. Uh, Ulfik is just gonna complain that I didn't do the dumper. That's, that's all. didn't make the dumper though. <laughs> you, you watch, you watch. That's, that's still going to be the complaint. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's have two of those. Uh, do I really want that going the whole way through? Be an easier way to make like a hollow cube in this. But before I start doing, so I'm I'm eventually going to use like boolean tricks to to delete those to make windows. There's got to be one of these modifiers. Uh, <coughs> solidify is normally how you do it. Is that? Oh, maybe that is going to work. Is that going to give me? actually made it a hollow box cool that was easier than I expected okay now I can break back my windows I'll subtract that another boolean we'll subtract that uh, Yeah, solidifies. I, <clears throat> I assume it's got very specific meaning for like certain types of objects, and then when you just apply it to all the rest, it kind of goes like, oh yeah, we, it works here too. <clears throat> it like it solidifies a surface, not just a, um, not a solid object, I guess. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's, let's do a little cheat here. So that should give me a full-size rear window. There we go. Uh, actually, no, let's curve it. Let's, let's, let's do this properly and, and make it curve. I, I love the boolean combinations of of um, of objects. <clears throat> it's just such a neat way to get like holes and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's add and that kind of round window shape. I don't know how to make that. I guess if I make a sphere and then cut it in half, then I can. Do that.
There's so much you gotta do, you gotta get selection in the right order. I could probably just do that. Oh, I think that... Did the others as well, cool. Bus windows. Uh, okay. Let's <clears throat> have a few more. Alright. Come back whenever. I'm not going anywhere. I need to spread these out more. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Hopefully that's muted enough. If I reach forward too quickly, I'm going to knock my drink over. And you know, I warned you. I warned you. I'm sick. I warned you. I'm sick. You can you can have the the coughing sounds. Uh, let's just array. Let's just array modify this because I'm lazy. Uh, let's do a constant offset in the in the x direction. Yeah. Oh no, relative offset. That makes more sense. Coughing ASMR. Well, yeah. I mean, if that's if that's what you're into, then you can have some. Hey, doing Danny? How you doing? Better than me, I hope. Think that bus windows should probably be a little bigger, shouldn't they? to work up uh yeah i am not looking forward to being back at work tomorrow i might have to take the first day off just for more more recovery time that's kind of how it's feeling <clears throat> get a curve. Can I get that nice curve in the top of the bus? What have I got that can do that? This is where I pull out the surface, isn't it? Nerb surface. Okay. I get, I think, I think I want these points to be there. Oh man, getting these, getting these surfaces to actually join up with anything at the edge is really hard. I right. <clears throat> guess it's also not flat. Uh, recovery is important, don't force yourself back to work too soon. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that's what I think. That's what I think. Uh, hopefully that's what my manager thinks as well, but we'll find out. <laughs> no, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll, he will not have any problem at all because he had a real, real, he had a real, real bad time when, when he caught it. So <clears throat> I'm sure he will be most understanding. Uh, maybe if I add just another series of points in every direction, then it'll 
It'll line up nicely. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm achieving something. I just have to like trim the edges of this somehow like blur it all together uh, that's selecting through select through I think if we get a bit of intersection on every side, then it's going to blend nicely enough. <clears throat> that one is maybe not getting there. This might, this might be a clever trick. This might be a clever trick. And I have, let's take, take all those top points and then, oh, that was not all the points I expected. Oh no, that's all right. <clears throat> that's all right. So if I do that, now what I've got, <clears throat> If I do, uh, I only take, oh, it's a surface patch. So let's, um, actually, can I constrain it here? Is that, world edge split. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Uh, okay, let's just convert it to a mesh. I can intersect with the cube. Is it the worst thing I've ever done? Uh, no. No. Worst thing I've done so far today? Yeah, probably. Probably. Why, why can't you use Union properly? That's... That's, that's not how you do a Union. Uh, maybe if I solidify this a bit. Uh, 
quite, not quite. I actually kind of want to cut the other bit down. I'm not quite sure the best way to do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> is this a fiddly process? This is absolutely a fiddly process. Uh, though once you know how to do it, then you just do it in a less fiddly way to begin with. But I've got basically no idea what I'm doing, so... There's probably a nice easy way to do this. <clears throat> Maybe I just like drag points around. Drag those points around. I think my lights just flickered. That's weird. Uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted either. Um, uh, okay. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Uh... Is that not even, that's not even sent, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's, it's not, it's not centered. How did I not notice that earlier? <coughs> Apologies for the coughs. I guess I can just do... Uh, probably need, probably, probably need to move both of those, don't I? snap to increment how can I make it snap to that line that's right next to it back with some tan noms good uh, <clears throat> I'm already upset at it being not symmetrical uh, all right, <clears throat> we'll just do it this way then. Uh, object mirror in, where is it, Z global? No, no, Y global. No, it's not mirror. I want, um, I want that mirror in Y global. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that, it was symmetrical the whole time. It was symmetrical the whole time. Ah, uh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> now we have two bosses. There we go. Okay, symmetrical boss. What boss has like two separate windows at the front anyway? <clears throat> I spent the entire time you were gone trying to give it a nice rounded roof and I'd just given up when you got back. So... In my defense, yes, completely fixated on geometry. Uh, <clears throat> there's gotta be, there's gotta be a nice way to have like, a surface where you can actually like, fix the edges. <clears throat> I mean, that's a real problem here, is like, None of these control points are, are really hard control points. I 
Spline type? No. And so you have freedom shape in any way I want. It's not going to make a difference. <clears throat> it's going to make it harder. Like, I don't want freedom. I like reference images. Because then I can just be like, I know what I'm doing. I'm copying the reference image. Like, who who thought this was a good design for a rounded kind of object? Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's do it this way then. Um, add cylinder. So now, I'll do that. Do another cube like I did at the far end. <clears throat> um, let's just scale that way and then we'll scale that way. has got a rounded top. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit train-like. It's done. It's done. <clears throat> uh, let me... Let's add some... I cannot have... Why can I not have three-point lights? There we go. So done. So done. and everything. All right. This is the red bit. Let's make it look like a, a red bit. Bus red. Color is that. Okay, pink bit. I'm not calling it pink bit. That's... smooth. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty full? Defo a red bit. Good. Let's do a little less shiny. Guess a bit more rough. Uh, 
Uh, <clears throat> is that the end of that playlist? That was that was nice. I would do that one again. Uh, let's let's find out all the things that are classified as beautiful. How about that? <clears throat> How satisfied are you with this? Show? I've I've listened to three seconds. Epidemic. Give me a chance. <laughs> I literally just clicked on it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> How's everything looking today, by the way? Uh, particularly Anka, since you were giving me the feedback on it. I upped my bitrate, so I'm running at about 4 meg instead of 1.5. Looks way better. Awesome. Uh, of course, if I switch to this mode, then it's going to do the... Like, this will make it the bit ratey bit again. Because that's... That's all the dots everywhere. But I'm not going in that mode yet. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, let's add... Let's add a bit of noise. At least that's only limited to the render. I say the thing. I didn't say anything. I mean, that, that was the basic artifacting. I didn't think it was too bad when I looked at the VOD. But may, maybe the VOD gets a better quality encoding than live. That's entirely possible. Um, <clears throat> what did I want here? I want I so color ramp is like the best thing ever. I don't know why it's in converter. It's ridiculous. Color ramp. So basically, all these random things give you a random number in some pattern. And then when you put in a color ramp, you can control exactly what color comes out. So I can grab that one and let's get darkish red. Grab that end. Uh, Similar kind of red. Let's make this a little less dark so we're closer together. Look at that, it's just magically a little bit more realistic. Boy, there is some weird... I'm guessing my normals are all off on there. <clears throat> um, let's do a... Ah, oh, it's not my UV, is it? It's my mesh. Fresh, brand new, fresh normals. No, I don't have fresh normals. What is going on? I think it's actually like overlapping triangles. I think I've got... Well, so, so Blender figures out a lot of the triangle stuff itself. You can do it, but it mostly kind of says you can have a nice big quad-sized face. Uh, in this case, I can't even see where the face is. That... Uh, you know what? Let's, let's actually go with not enough triangles, hey? Let's go with not enough... <clears throat> uh, because I think they are overlapping. So we should be able to just do triangulate modifier. <clears throat> well, it's, it's certainly made some choices. If I... Uh, it's 
fine if I shade flat. Okay, so the other thing that I can do, that I quite often do here, is remesh. Now it looks like a Simpsons boss. <clears throat> Brutalist boss. I mean, I just say it's trying to match the cartoonish style. I don't hate this. <clears throat> I don't hate this. Let's go with that. <clears throat> Let's go with that. Okay, so now if I'm looking at... Ah, now it's got many, many triangles. No shortage of triangles. Probably. <clears throat> Do my normals again? Suddenly, really dark. Uh, hang on. Let's put my lights on. Yeah, it is going to be really complex now. But, but now that I've kind of got everything in the right spot, I can run some simplifies. Um, and I think I want to decimate here. Because Decimate is going to do the best job of combining... It should do the best job of combining stuff without it actually... Get out of edit mode. Uh-oh, we're freezing. Remind me to hit save when it unfreezes. Save. Okay. Uh, because de decimation doesn't work in point editing mode. So I've got to be in object mode, which is why it's calculating it now. Basically, this does, a, this does the best job of just combining, like, perfectly flat faces. <clears throat> so it should leave all the complexity around the edges and none of it on the flat surfaces. But as you can tell, it's working nice and hard to calculate it. And it's not coming up with the best result I've ever seen. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's an improvement. Let's try collapsing. And we'll get some symmetry in Y. is special looking kind of boss. <clears throat> Definitely still some weirdness. <laughs> This is definitely still some weirdness. Uh, <clears throat> oh well. But you can see it's it's kept more shapes around the around the edge than around the inside, and, and there's bits like that that are just weird. So, okay, we'll just have some weirdness.
you know, the, the boss has seen some action. That's all. The boss has seen some action. Okay. Uh, now for the cat bit. Normals were screwed from before and I did the union of the shapes. Um, I mean, yeah, I, well, probably. <laughs> Almost certainly. Um, I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's not terrible. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's... I guess I want to leave all that there. I just want to not see the lights in the viewport. <clears throat> um... Also seen some actions almost a statement about your reputation. That, that that's that's not how it was intended. Uh, all right, let's add. Just for reference, we'll have the cat face. <laughs> Shortcut's not working. Keyboard's still working. Oh, there we go. No, it stopped. Uh, blender, sir. <clears throat> Alright, it's not strictly a crash, but I'm gonna restart Blender anyway. <laughs> it's just ignoring my keyboard. I, like... Uh, X, let's move that along. the cat body, I guess. I don't actually know what kind of shape this cat body is. I guess we'll go with a big... Uh, let's do some metal ball. Let's do some metal ball work. Hey there, sunburn. How you doing? <clears throat> I am having another sick day, so... Just here. Doing the hangout. <clears throat> Making a spider cat boss. is not really scaling, is it? <clears throat> okay, I guess that capsule stays capsule shaped. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> it's 
Let's add a big um, <clears throat> ellipsoid kind of shape. Just kind of trying to swell this in certain directions. Oh, there we go. I can shrink that one that way. Let's hide the hide the red bit. Uh, I should have. Here we go. Let's get... <clears throat> I select the other active element. <laughs> yeah, capsule. Less stiff. More stiff. So these basically all just influence each other to become, <clears throat> to figure out the final shape. Spider cut. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's my spider cat. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, let's give the head some ears, because then it'll be a little less creepy. for uh okay let's squish you uh, let's make sure that your origin <clears throat> yeah origin is in the same place which means i'll be able to clear Actually, prefer to do that. Sh shrink it down a little bit. <clears throat> uh, and we'll add the mirror modifier in Y. There's my two ears. A little bit behind everything, aren't they? together and we'll do that remesh again this <clears throat> how made the cone symmetric uh, I can undo I can undo out of that A, a mirror modifier so there is one cone there and I deliberately set it up so that its origin point which is that orange dot there is in the middle uh, and yeah so so that's 
the center of the object, moved all the points over to that side, added the mirror in the y-axis, um, and yeah, that's <clears throat> then selected it with the rest of the cat head and did a union, and so now it's just one big mesh. Which I can remesh. I haven't ever quite figured out what adaptivity actually does. We got ears. That seems to be smoothest, but. Oh boy, those ears are doing some weird wobbly stuff. <clears throat> oh, actually, <clears throat> that looks better, doesn't it? Sharp looks good. <laughs> those ears have also seen some action. Well, I, I, <clears throat> um, no, no, I, I don't want to know. Don't want to know. Do not want to know. Okay. Let's see if it remeshes that. That's not even that bad. Like, that's not too many points. Uh, I mean, I could make them. I could make floppy ears, but cats don't tend to have floppy ears. I guess I could make a floppy cat's tail. We want a floppy cat's tail. Bear, bear with me for a minute on this because this one is is gonna look awfully suspicious for a while <clears throat> but it'll make sense it'll make sense <clears throat> uh, let's take that into I can't even see what I'm doing now <clears throat> okay <clears throat> and Faces on edges. getting any other crazy ideas that is a cat's tail you can tell by the way it's attached to the end of a cat Crayola <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and I need those points and I guess I'll take these ones as well and we'll stick them in a vertex group Okay, now let's give this some physics. Um, I think soft body. Soft body what I want. No, no, I want cloth. <clears throat> cloth and we want Internal springs. Uh, got that group to pin it. And, okay. Internal strings a bit too strong. Um, can never remember which one is the one to adjust. Let's head in the right direction. <clears throat> Here we go. Super realistic cat's tail. Uh, I guess I'll bring those down as well.
There you go. Cat's got a tail. should be able to do is object uh, if I apply that transformation no it doesn't count <laughs> so the problem with doing something like this is now I've got to spend like 200 frames calculating where it should be it's like I just just let me start from that point <clears throat> Something can probably do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not planning on moving the cat around. So. But if that is what we did, let me. Let's make that a mesh. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> not gonna do any more with that. Just doing some parenting so it all sticks together. <clears throat> Apart from the tail. Apart from why, why is the tail? <clears throat> oh, because it's partway through the simulation. Okay, so now <clears throat> if I do that and I mean, we'll make it nice and quick. that. I have no idea how this is going to look exactly, but in theory, here we go, we got the tail reacts to the movement. start from or was it minus three to start from right <clears throat> gets so <laughs> gets so deflated yeah there is another <clears throat> now I figured this one out once uh, internal springs is a big part of it uh, it's, it's not the max spring creation is it I don't know, there's uh, some of these options somewhere. Is it pressure? Does that give it internal pressure? Shrinking factor, I forget. <clears throat> I forget. I, at one point I figured out the right option for it. Let's, let's texture a little bit of cat body. I kind of want to do a cheat on the face. And just like... Put the texture in. did all the points, didn't it? That just did all the points. Okay, so if I just get the ones that I can see, <clears throat> do a... <clears throat> 
Okay, and the cat face, we're gonna take image texture. Do some serious shuffling things around here, aren't I? <clears throat> hey there, Sean. How you doing? Let's slap on the texture. Yeah. Uh, let me actually get it showing up over here. There we go. Let's do it this way. Um, <clears throat> let's. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> hey, there, DS. I'm doing. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Thanks. Enjoy the look. Um, <clears throat> enjoy the background music. I don't suppose you've got any. Do you, do you have any playlists of your stuff that I could play? You do some cool chill stuff like I'm after right now. I'm just playing stuff off Ep Epidemic right now, but it's all kind of random and... Uh, okay, let's... So, so what I want to try here is um, UV projection, which is basically a way of, like, projecting the texture onto it. Uh, which probably sounds like it makes no sense, and it doesn't really, but it's it's cool. It's cool. Uh, so I need another camera. No playlist at the moment. Yeah, no worries. No worries. That's cool. But yeah, guys, go check out DS Composing. It does awesome music composition streams. Uh, actually good at writing music from scratch. And they're always great fun to, to lurk in and just listen and occasionally go in and ask for more cowbell. Super chill track yesterday, I'll go check it out. I'll go check it out. Uh, texture projector. <clears throat> so you just need this for the reference point because this goes in as a modifier. And we do a UV project from texture projector. Uh, and so just kind of like the bit that it can see relative to the camera. If I said this is my main camera. A cowbell redemption yesterday. Uh-oh. I'm definitely going to have to go see how you handled that then. So basically what I can do here is just adjust the camera angle and everything. Does it, oh man, Spouse, you only just got here and you're judging already? I don't know, man. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm okay with that. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so yeah, so you can do that and then it just like applies it so you can look at it from any direction. Which is neat if you've got like, so people use this for, um, if you get like a photo of a place. I saw this really cool video uh, of a guy who basically does this professionally. You get like a still shot of a room or a space. Uh, remap all the geometry points onto the texture. That's basically what I've, uh, so, so depending on what you're trying to do, depending on what you're trying to do. The, the way of remapping it is to move them all individually by hand, which I cannot be bothered doing. Uh, it's probably more efficient given how basic the shape is. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit apply. And now I can go into the UV editing. 
and here are I mean isn't that basically what I came up with anyway you can see how many points it is though it's a lot of points it's a lot of point I don't even know where the rest of the ear is gone where's, where's the rest of my ear and select that point Yeah, once I'm in here and I've kind of got all the points-ish that I want. What's, where's my other point there? There you are. Come on. tweaking but yeah this is more or less where I started <laughs> okay yeah that's fair enough if your monitor is more than good enough to judge blender that's fine that's fine okay so reproject that from the view <clears throat> yeah we'll just do more So, but then I've got to like start grabbing these individually. Being like, oh yeah, these, these all belong up here. Part of the ear. I'm gonna turn off snapping now. that guy uh, I guess you're in the wrong spot one video with blender in it so you basically look <clears throat> spouse appreciate that i've seen two so get ready to learn some stuff um <clears throat> still missing air points <sighs> look how about how about i just look, I'm, I'm just not going to do the ear i'm just not going to do the ears just the ears are just not going to have a texture how about that how about that how about the ears just like don't have in fact in fact you know you know I'm just gonna just gonna do it that way let's it it it's feeling like a lot of work not gonna lie uh, okay so we're gonna have two materials that's gonna be the actual cat face this one is gonna be the cat head <laughs> didn't know you're about to lose that hard uh yeah <clears throat> I've actually seen like 10 blender videos because I went on a bit of a, a a run with them. There's some really there's some really funny people doing cool stuff with blender out there. Uh, a, lot, a lot of conference material as well. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have two materials. Let's make this one pink for now so I can see it. <clears throat> and instead of doing the whole face with it, I'm going to assign most of it to pink. And then I'm gonna not do the cursor, I want select circle. Then we'll select the facey bit. 
it's going to be enough face. <coughs> 2D into 3D chest video. No, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I'll go look it up. I've mostly been watching like Captain Disillusion and um, and other people that have spoken at Blender conferences who are mostly just I work on all these TV shows you've heard of, let me flex my skills but they have cool pictures so it's okay. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm selecting the bits for the face and I'm going to apply the cat face material like that. So we're just slowly revealing the cat face. <laughs> you recommended that was sick. <laughs> Okay, it's got the eyes, it's got the grin, that's enough. <clears throat> and now for this material, I can turn it back into black. It's a little shinier than the rest of the face, but you know, that's what happened if you peeled off my skin. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, let's get real clever here. Uh, over on modifying <clears throat> this texture. Uh, so I'm going to have another uh, principled BSDF, which is what's on the other one with black. And instead of the texture going straight in, we're going to... Uh, I mean, we'll start by running it through, which is going to give... Uh, in fact, that's basically perfect. I was going to do more work, but I don't have to do more work than that. <clears throat> Make the material super up, but why can't, why can't your cat have a shiny head? Why, why, why is your cat not allowed to have a shiny head? Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Slot two. <clears throat> Super rough. Yeah, <clears throat> okay, so there's still a bit of a color transition there, which is what I was worried about. So, we're going to... You ain't got a greasy cat. If you say so. <clears throat> um, let's do... That's what I want to do. <laughs> it's lumber from lids, yeah. Uh, I should have... Probably just RGB curves is enough to do what I'm wanting to do. Basically that. Now we can give you the cat head. It's also now cat body. <clears throat> uh, oh, and I should really allow for pink bits, shouldn't I? <clears throat> I should allow for pink bits. Let's change that base color out so that instead of base color it is um, vertex color should be in here vertex color uh, which is apparently already black everywhere how nice so now if I go into vertex paint mode Hmm. 
Apparently I don't have enough vertices here to paint them pink. <laughs> nope, not enough vertices to paint them pink. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's do... Let's do some sculpting. Let's do some sculpting. Uh, like having to decimate. Uh, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll see. Um, what I do have to do is, uh, <clears throat> which one is it? I've got to do the filter. I can never, box mask, is that? Somehow I've got a mask. There we go. Mask, there it is. It's so hard to tell what's actually fully masked and what isn't. Uh, let's get the back of the ear as well. <clears throat> How's that going to look on the texture? It's not a texture anymore. So only the very face bit is the texture. And the rest of it is just going to use the, the colors of the underlying object. Uh, <clears throat> so this mask is not going to show up at all because it's just for sculpting purposes. I you not have a fully strong... Uh, and what this should let me do, and I've only successfully done masking like <clears throat> once or twice. So going for a third time. Um, is now when I switch to, uh, we're going to draw <clears throat> and I'm going to Dynotopo. Uh, which I think has already destroyed everything else, hasn't it? Uh, it's already done. It's already done. <sighs> okay. Scratch that idea. Scratch that idea, there is no avoiding that. <clears throat> Guess I've just gotta... Cut loops. when you can't it's like I want to see the bits that I'm actually drawing the colors for uh, <clears throat> let's start with making them all black because that is kind of the goal The base color is all black. Uh, let's get my ear pink back. <clears throat> uh, and 
I'm just gonna use this like so I'm using the knife to base <clears throat> basically make fresh sections. I'm doing two because it's going to do a, a color fade, essentially. Um, <clears throat> so there's going to have to be like a pair because the inner ones will be pink, the outer ones will be black, and it's going to draw a, a, a gradient between the two. I'll just put them really close <clears throat> close together. There, there's a hundred percent better ways to do this, for what it's worth. Um, <clears throat> like this is exactly what you use a texture for, and I am not doing that. I am using geometry. <clears throat> so there we go. Geometry. So now if I draw, oh yeah, it's like a nice pink ear. As long as I don't go too far outside of my bounds. <clears throat> okay, so there's two there. Go, I've got an ear. Actually, looks pretty good. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. Uh, that last little bit do not like so much. Right at the tip. I think that's the hidden point. I'll get to the legs. I'll get to. The, it's still missing hair as well. The the hair is what convinced me that this was worth doing. <clears throat> Why can I not unpinkify that? But I don't have to get that one. Get that one. <clears throat> bit down there that's not where's my color <clears throat> add hair of the material that'll be yeah yeah that's that's the that's the goal uh, <clears throat> but I've never done a really good job of anything with hair <clears throat> before I made some okay grass with hair once <clears throat> but but never like proper proper hair uh, okay Let's now. Where is that? Oh, it's still on Vertex Paint. Uh, now I've got to paint this guy black. Tail. 
So the question is, and and I, I need you to discuss this in chat. Uh, <clears throat> should the legs be like actively creepily moving, or should I make them kind of dangle and bounce around like the tail does? Uh, which I believe will also be very creepy. And I mainly just haven't decided which is going to be less work. No, it's a perfect likeness so far. That's... Uh, let's figure out where my camera is looking at. That looks like I missed a section on his body there. There we go. Fully. <clears throat> Mechanical moving is creepy. Dangly would just look goofy. Okay, that's, that's exactly the kind of opinion I was looking for. Uh, so we'll go for mechanically moving. <clears throat> I can do that. Uh, I'm going to... Take a quick break to refresh my tea though, so I will leave the music on. <clears throat> uh, let's let's put the if I change this to cycles rendering. Um, I'll leave it doing a, a a retrace for a bit while I go get tea and I will be back soon.
Oh, okay. Beautiful, beautiful spider cat. Except it's not a spider cat yet, it's just a cat with a bus on its back. Uh, what's this render for? <laughs> the face will now haunt your dreams. Excellent. Uh, no, th this is this is just because I felt like making something, spouse, and 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 Anka had this. <clears throat> Uh, if you hop into Anka's Discord, which I don't have a link handy for, but Anka, if you're there, feel free to post a link. Uh, that, that's, I also posted the thing I did yesterday, which was I was bored and wanted to do something in Blender, and the last thing in chat was a bandwidth graph, so I animated a bandwidth graph. It was basically just more of that, and because it started from there, I, I picked up one of the things from, from Anka's uh, <clears throat> history of Twitch stuff. This, this is actually a, is this one of Chaotix drawing? Drawings, I think. <clears throat> uh, okay, creepy spider legs. How do we do creepy spider legs? Being creative or bored, what is this witchcraft? Yeah, I know, right? <coughs> <coughs> Shouldn't the body of the cat be bigger? Um, sh are, you, are you doubting the realism of, of my spider cat boss? Um, yeah, I mean, it could, I, it, I can make it bigger. I can make it bigger. I, I can just do a... Whoop. Oh, no, because it's all, it's all parented now. Damn it. Uh, <clears throat> you mean bigger like that? Do some of that. It's going to look bigger once it's got arms. So. Are they arms or are they legs? Uh, am I really just going to do this with two cylinders? Uh, let's, do, let's do it with the nubs cylinder. <clears throat> So this thing, <coughs> this thing should be a cylinder controlled by control points. Yeah, feel, feel free to go join Anka's server. I mean, I don't have my own Discord server. If I did, it'd have like, you know, there would be 1% exactly the same as what's on there. And then she's got more stuff and mine would just be like dead. So <clears throat> uh, I'm not interested in maintaining a, a server. The cat teeth, the cat teeth. Uh, <clears throat> okay, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Let's... Let's start by making that a little... Let's shrink it all in, actually. <clears throat> so it's slightly skinnier. I don't want to make it chunky legs. Yeah, I'm in a lot of Discord servers as well. <clears throat> so... And, and they mostly get ignored. And in a lot of them, they even block like the, the going live announcements. <clears throat> uh, okay, 
Okay, let's let's rotate all of these to keep it straight for now. <clears throat> That, okay, well, that's fine then. Now, what I should be able to do is extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate. Let's, let's do a lot more. <clears throat> Okay, right up the side. This, in theory, should be like a fairly smoothly flowing cylinder. Could be smoother. <clears throat> what controls do I have? I do higher resolution? Not really. Oh. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Look at that. Doesn't quite reach the end the way I want, but it's looking prettier. Okay, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so that's my active spline. What if I... That just do the whole thing or just my bit? Oh, that's just that one bit that I'm on. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> I'm learning stuff. Learning stuff now. Um, let's... <clears throat> so I can move that a little bit further back. That's going to give me a nice curve there. And then my actual final endpoint can be order two. No. No, what? No, <coughs> oh, no, I want endpoint. Endpoint V. Oh, look at that. No. <coughs> Why is... It's like, it's just all just active spline. Whatever. <coughs> that's my... <coughs> that's just my spider leg. That's just my spider leg. I know, I should really, um, I should really be <clears throat> making this, like, I should be rigging it properly, I think. Trying to, just trying to think how that's going to duplicate, <clears throat> if it's going to duplicate well at all. I suspect it's not. Okay. So that, that's spider leg one. Let's put that one aside for now. Let's put that one aside. <clears throat> and I'm going to do a second kind of spider leg. This one <clears throat> is going to be based on an armature. So basically this is like rigging it for motion. 
Um, and now I don't control A, I go into edit mode. And then shift A adds a bone and I don't know where it's gone. They adds another one, I don't know where that's gone. <clears throat> I've got all these bones. Where, where are my bones? <clears throat> oh, there they are. Got bones. <clears throat> okay. So that bone one should be... How do I... Make that the base. I don't know where you are. Delete that bone. Delete that bone. <clears throat> um, relation, parent, no, it can't be itself. <clears throat> uh, I guess this one is, is the root, <clears throat> the root bone. So we'll... <clears throat> Start, definitely starting from inside the cat <clears throat> and then poking out just a bit. Uh, <clears throat> now do a second bone and parent it to the first one. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know why that's rotating the way it is, but it is. <clears throat> and we add another bone. And we're pairing it to that one. <clears throat> and one last bone. Now what I should be able to do... <clears throat> is um <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna animate the legs to make them dance and there should be a way to just like Oh, oh no, I know, I know what I did wrong. <clears throat> I know what I did wrong, I don't want any of that. No bones. Oh, why is delete not working on my bones? Uh, am I in, I'm in pose mode. Edit mode. Okay, we're deleting all the bones. <clears throat> I'll start with another bone, then a second bone. That will be parent to the first. <clears throat> and then a third bone. That will also be parented. Uh, that will be parented to the second. Is that right? No, it's not right. None of it's none of it's right. <clears throat> none of it's right. That's better. Oh, nope. Clicking things in the right order is very important. There we go. And we'll do one more bone. <clears throat> okay. There is all of my bones. Now I'm going to add... Uh, <clears throat> uh, I guess I'll go with that nerve cylinder again. It wasn't... It wasn't terrible for what I'm trying to do here.
let's make it let's make it flare outwards a little bit like it's part of the shoulder <clears throat> It's a little hard to see. Uh, I mean, you can probably use your imagination and come up with far more interesting uh, <clears throat> far more interesting ideas of what it is than <clears throat> uh, that, than a spider leg. But it is, in fact, a spider leg, and you're wrong. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to convert that to... Convert that to a mesh. And now I want to... Oh. Uh, parent it to the armature um, with automatic weights. So now, what I have, and uh, if I turn off everything else for a sec, so we can just see that. Now, uh, if I go through and pose the the um, the armature. So the various bits of bone, it's going to move the rest of it with it. <clears throat> and whenever I get sick of that pose, I just change it back into rest position. <clears throat> so rather than going through and like frame by frame animating, I can now keyframe animate this fairly complex object. I'm surprised your imagination needs that help, Anka, but but you're welcome. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, definitely a spider leg. 100% a spider leg. Uh, it was, it's, it's kind of amazing how well the automatic weights work. So, so what that has done on this... Uh, let me hop out of pose mode. <clears throat> Uh, what it's done is it's created these four vertex groups on the object, which if I go into uh, weight paint, it's just gone through and calculated this is how much influence each bone has on each part of it. So I can adjust these levels. <clears throat> and you can see how there's overlap, right? So like the, that's, that's green and it's going up to more red <clears throat> and that's also green and blue. So there's like, there's some bits that are colored by both. And so they're gonna like average the position of the bones. Uh, but you know, if you can get the default position, the armature lined up nicely with the model, then, then the automatic weights just, they're, they're kind of, kind of magic. And it's not too hard to mod it. It's like, I can do that. And now I get a whole lot more random movements there, which I don't really want. So I'm not gonna do that, but. <clears throat> Um, and pose mode. Let's go through and reset it. Oh, hey, the bots are here. Look at all the followers you'll never buy. I nearly accidentally hit the mod button. So why is the mod button next to the block button? I mean, it's like those are... Th those buttons are just far too close together. It is not helpful. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So with that... That set... Um, Now I think I want some modifiers, and this is where I want uh, I'm the mod the bot. I wonder what would happen. I wonder I wonder what would happen if you modded a bot. I'm trying to think of a good way to do this, because I really don't want to like keyframe all of it by hand. 
I want like some kind of constraint. I want one of these to like follow the motion path. Uh, red bit. Let's. Leg one, because I assume I'm going to have leg two. Uh, I mean, I'm considering the Bezier curve. <clears throat> I think that's probably... Oh, that's interesting. That wasn't what I wanted at all. <clears throat> there we go. So I have leg one right and leg one left, which is... Sure, pairs of legs. Pairs of legs. <clears throat> uh, actually, yeah, maybe, that's, maybe that's the best way to do it. Because if I have... Um, I'll start with... So I have a bone constraint. Yeah, I can probably track. I can probably track the tip of the bone. Uh, that's. Hey, ready? How you doing? Uh, that's. As questionable as you may think this is, uh, you're a hundred percent correct. <clears throat> okay, so there's two of the legs. Uh, let's... Oh, no, I do like... If I rotate this in local... Keep things just a little bit more controlled. And now I'm kind of thinking that I should be able to have a path um, can you give me a sine wave can you just generate a sine wave for me that would be that would be nice <clears throat> oh wait until you see it fully rendered it's it's a hundred percent terrifying uh, 3d helix Ah, perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, okay. How, how much, how can I make it longer? Cyclic. Um. Yeah, Bezier. What is this music? I love this. Beautiful post-rock. Is this gonna cut is this gonna cut it off if I try and go to it? Cold light of day? No, beautiful. <clears throat> We're staying on these guys for a little bit after this song. <clears throat> oh, actually flower might be a good shape. I 
can't even see the inner radius there. Okay, okay. Uh, let me just hide the body briefly. Because I reckon if I add a cool shape like that, then I should be able to set up the tip of the, the arm to follow it <clears throat> and the rest of it to inverse kinematics back to figure out um, <clears throat> the the actual like reasonable positions for everything. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Let's just shrink it down a bit smaller. That flower is my Bezier curve. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do is... I don't go into... I do not want sculpt mode. Get, get out of that. <clears throat> Pose mode. I want to add a bone constraint for that bone to follow the path of the flower. Um, Z is up, I guess X is forward. So it probably needs to... It's going to try and rotate. Uh, I don't really want that. Path animation. It's basically just twisting the bone. Uh, that might be the lack of reverse kinematics. <clears throat> Going to pretend it's a lack of reverse kinematics. Okay. Uh, so let's grab. <coughs> um. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. Uh, maybe, maybe I I want that here instead of the follow path. Maybe I want. Inverse kinematics to the flower. Oh, oh, no, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want, uh, I'm gonna need some other object. So, so I'll use an empty, a little, little empty circle. Uh, what it is doesn't matter, it's just shows up as something. And that is going to follow the flower. Uh, so I'm parenting it and setting it to follow the path. Except I should have done it before it moved. Uh, let's... <laughs> the, the leg is still following it. That's all right. That's all right. I can undo that. Okay. Uh, now we parent. Now we parent those to follow the path. Now I move the flower back out here. Ah, oh, look at that! Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That's, that's already gross. <laughs> that's already so gross. Um, okay. <laughs> now. Where's, where's my animated bone? Uh, it's this one. Okay, don't target the flower, target the empty. Oh, look at that! <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, what have I done? <laughs> what have I- look, it's- you, you can't have me arrested for this, you knew what was getting- you knew what everyone was getting into. <laughs> Flower tracker. <laughs> TOS. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> I hope that doesn't- that's not currently in shot. Just want to quickly check that it's not going to- Oh boy, everything's rendering a few times there, isn't it? It is going to render the flower though. So that's- Something I got to avoid. Let's just remove that old thing. Um, don't sh I guess just don't show in renders. It's going to be quite all right. Rendering the the animation for that. It's got flowers, so it's cute. Uh, okay, and for the other side, I will add um, a, in fact, I wonder. Uh, no, I'll just have to <laughs> you kind of love the idea that I'll leave the legs white like that. Um, I mean... It is less work. It is definitely less work. Let's do a splat. Let's do a splat. You can follow the splat. That's actually perfect. Uh, it could be a little bit bigger. No, it can't be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Cat boss is wearing stockings. Uh, <clears throat> okay, there's my splat, and I'll add another circle empty. Just my splat follower. Splat follower becomes a follow path. Parent of Splat. Splat is not shown in renders. And we want that at about the same position. Other end. Inverse kinematics to the splat follower. Oh man, <clears throat> inverse kinematics is probably my new favorite. Uh, my new favorite thing. Let's just lower that down just a touch. And that should give us. Oh, oh I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> It's still got the forward and back movement in there from when I was playing with the tail. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> oh no, it's disturbing. Um, okay, let's quickly material these. Be cat body. This can also be cat body. Both of them are going to need vertex painting black. Uh, 
let's turn everything else back on. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna take that extra motion out. <clears throat> Okay, so the full <clears throat> the full rendered animation is going to take a long time to do, <clears throat> but oh, why did no? Why did you move? You're not meant to have moved. Clear keyframes. <clears throat> but that's basically that one looks kind of slow, doesn't it? Splat um, path animation. Maybe I'll make the flower a little smaller. Okay. So now I ha now I just have to do six more of those. Or or uh, I can do I'm hoping. Hoping I can at least do a couple of these. Let's add um Hoping I can array. <clears throat> yep. Uh, go negative two. Uh, maybe negative one point five. Oh, I could angle. Oh, oh, brilliant idea! Brilliant idea! I love it! I love it! <clears throat> Um, how do I... Oh, man, these guys... Gonna have to find... Ah, oh, they've got more. they got so much more. Oh, no, it's all repeats. This is such good music. I'm turning it up. I'm gonna talk less. Listen more. Like, I, I, that's what I'm looking for. Is I should be able to flip it. Uh, maybe the, maybe Array is not the right option for that. <laughs> is the cat bus gonna shoot web? No, the cat bus is gonna have hair. It, it gets, it gets worse in that direction. Uh, you know what? Maybe I won't do this with the array. I'll just duplicate it, and we'll just do different shapes for each other. I'll just keep, just keep duplicating stuff. Because, <clears throat> I mean, really, this is not that hard to do. Oh, boy, this is going to look weird for the first little bit. Currently, they're all still reaching for the same object, which is a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, okay, <clears throat> I guess, I guess we'll just do more, more splats, eh? <laughs> uh, okay, let's give these proper names. Too well. Otherwise, I will go absolutely insane. <clears throat> this one will be 2R. This one will be 3R. 
That'll be four off. That'll be three L. Four L. <clears throat> uh, okay, and let's just change things back into a bit more. Easier to see what I'm actually doing rather than everything uh, everything else that's going on. <clears throat> what object is that that's selected? Oh, my midpoints are off. Okay. More curves. We'll have a slightly different flower. Got a five petal flower. What's noise 3D look like? Oh, that's just... That's, that's just... Messy. I don't think I can make the path follow kind of trace back and forth though. That would be cool. Uh, <clears throat> or if I can have it like kind of curve all the way back. That's kind of what I'm missing. Uh, and that's why I like the, the splat. So it loops around. That's actually a good splat. That's a good splat. <clears throat> Out of the path to join the endpoints? I can, but, <clears throat> but to get it to join kind of randomly and smoothly is like I've got to draw a lot of points there, there's an option to just join them up and so you get like this cool random line and then a straight line back to the start which did not want to have to do uh, are these just all the same songs over and over again that we already heard you belong here castles in the sky yeah it's just like all the singles <clears throat> empowering moments moments of success I, don't know, I just want one I just I mean let's just go post rock if 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 it's all like that just bring it <clears throat> I'm into it <clears throat> and switch to old tracks yeah uh okay pose mode I don't even need pose mode I don't think Splat follower, this one is going to follow... Oh, what is... Which, which one did I call that? It's one of my... One of my empties. I don't even see where it's gone. It's, oh, because it'll be under the... Flower one. Empty O one. There it is. Yep. And so you're going to be Splat 01, which is empty too. <clears throat> so now, oh, let's, let's get these vertically in the right spot. <clears throat> and I guess I'll give them a bit of rotation as well.
All right, halfway there, halfway there. Uh, look at these. It's Taurus not plus. What does that do? Oh, cool. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. Look at that. Let's just do two of these. Do two of these for for these legs. Um, can I shrink you down a bit? <clears throat> Do a couple of knots. It's a spiral fit. leg has a mind of its own. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, legs are allowed to think for themselves these days. They don't, they're not obliged to <clears throat> do wh what you might expect them to do. Basically, this music is like Muse, but for when you're you're not you're not sad. That's, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. It's Muse for happy people. <clears throat> this is a bit too slow, isn't it? the game. Oh uh, boy, I, I am not the one who will be doing cat boss the game. But if anyone would like to, I'm more than happy to export the model for you. We'll get May onto that one. She can do cat boss the game. I'm almost scared to, to see what this is going to look like in like not wireframe. What are the curves? I'm still at spirals. I'm betting the spirals don't come back. Uh, did you get braid knot? Oh, oh. Zero point there. Uh, okay. 
And let's let's go back to the flower. Uh, we'll do another splat. Let's end with a splat. Follow the path. Go over there-ish. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and that'll be... Oh wait, MT5 didn't parent on something? What happened? Oh, because they're not in the... Not into the collection. There we go. Where's our braid circle? Um, and that's another splat. There we go. We have our full collection of... Oh boy. It does crawl through traffic. <clears throat> it's basically Frogger. It's basically Frogger. Uh, except you, you know, you're running across the... <clears throat> running across the road and everything's trying to get you. I should probably do something similar with the tail, shouldn't I? Instead of the, instead of the cloth simulation, cloth simulation is a bit. Uh, ah, uh, I guess it's fine. <clears throat> I just really wanted to start down. Oops. Again, there's probably a <clears throat> an easier or better way of doing this. I just have no idea what it is. So.
There we are. The the smiling Anka cat. <clears throat> Isn't she lovely? Can't see the tail at all from here. Yep, kind of want an alt tab. Maybe I should scooch up the bus a little bit. I don't know how easily I can, like, <clears throat> model all the bus seats. Uh, <clears throat> can they be sports car seats? If I use those as bus seats, then I can... <laughs> Perfect. We, we have a vote for sports car seat. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, it's a little hard to... Oh, I've already got two. I've already got two of them. Way more than two of them. What's going on there? Okay. Let's give them a really horrible texture. <laughs> More noise textures coming up. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and now, I should be able to... Can't just array it? How can I? <clears throat> Why has it got to be so many pieces? Does it even look that good? What happens if I do... Something in there has got... a lot of modifiers on it. Seriously, just pre-render this stuff. I mean, why, why would you give it to me not... not like already concrete? What's the point? Ignore the, the back of the cat coming through. <clears throat> That's it's by design. It's by design. Uh, I'm gonna have, I guess, five. There we go. 
bus seats. Did I accidentally kill all of the texturing? That's right, I got, I'm just gonna retexture them anyway. I don't know, they got, they got texture, they got color. There's no lights. Um, I'd hope if I turn the lights back on, wouldn't it? Should probably clean up the, the back of the cat. Okay, let's clean up the back of the cat. There you go, no more cat back showing through. There's a little bit there. The back of the cat. No, it's something else. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> All right. What horrible! Oh, I don't want to sculpt that. <clears throat> Wait, these things are slow. Is this got like way too many? Way, way, way too many polygons in it. <clears throat> 89,000 polygons, which is great if you're going to do a close-up on a sports car chair. Which I'm not. <laughs> oh, you can't even tell, let's go smaller. Shader than I ex expected. <coughs> That's more shader than I expected to see. <coughs> and to be honest, I don't even know which. Are those different colors? Ooh, kind of different colors. That one's black. That one's also black. What happens if that is not black? What happens if that one is blue and that one is purple? Oh, oh there we go. Now it's looking more like bus seats. Now it's looking more like bus seats. Okay. Um, carbon fiber. Well known for buses being loaded with carbon fiber. Uh, particularly of the green. Variety. Uh, they they love their greens and blues together. Let's here we go. Um, there's the the leather. Again, well known buses always have a lot of leather in their interiors. Oh, it's just all of it's just how have they even done this? This is like really clever. <clears throat> so I wanna pull a trick here <clears throat> and make it 
try and vary them all. Uh, <clears throat> and I know there's a way to do it. So what I want is an input and it's going to be... Uh, geometry, I think. Is it object? <clears throat> object info might be the one I'm after. Let's take a separate, yeah, separate X, Y, Z, <clears throat> and take the the X. Absolutely not doing what I was hoping for. That's... <clears throat> uh, there, there should be a way to get the, the kind of world coordinate camera data might be camera data Here we go. <clears throat> I think here we go. <clears throat> Look too pretty to be bus seats. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty bus. It's a pretty bus. I'm just going to leave them all kind of some color. They're going to be green. It's already more time than I want to spend on bus seats, so we have bus seats now. Let's... Because <clears throat> now I want to get to the real, the real reason of doing this. The, the real reason we have come here today <clears throat> is to make a very hairy cat. Uh, and so, you know, make sure that everything is saved. And we come into particle systems. And I think particle systems is what we're going to do. <clears throat> uh, or probably we just actually do the... I think it's got a quick effect. Quick fur. There we go. Furry cat. And I think if I render that, it shows up. I think it, I think it ends up rendering nice than it looks in the viewport. <clears throat> so yeah, it, <clears throat> it looks a bit weird while you're working on it, but then when you actually go to render it, it, it ends up looking furrier. <clears throat> so that's what we're heading for. 
That's what we're heading for. Uh, obviously we'll have to blank out some sections that won't have fur, but <clears throat> but that will come. That will that will come. In fact, no, let's do that. Let's do that now. Uh, mission source emit from. If I do from vertices, uh, then I should be able to have. Yeah, so if I set a density group. <clears throat> so let's have a hairiness vertex group. Uh, which I guess by default is going to have everything in it. But now if I start going through and weight paint I'm painting zero. You can see as this gets down to <coughs> as it gets down to zero, the hair goes away. <coughs> it's just a, a little unfortunate that whoa boy, what happened there? It's a little unfortunate that I can't actually see the, <clears throat> the, the texture while I'm doing this. Can turn it off for now. So yep. <clears throat> I mean yeah, it's <clears throat> it's its eye is gonna be a bold spot. One once again, my keyboard is not doing what it should. hairs in his teeth. <clears throat> so I mean sometimes your eye gets a hair in it and and you know that's it's painful and awkward when that happens so I too hope that no one has hairs in their eye. <clears throat> uh, if you do then now you know how to remove it. You, you add a vertex group and then you go and remove all of those vertices from that group and that will get the hair out of your eye. It's as simple as that. Hairy teeth might be good for friction. Um, <clears throat> yes. Entirely possible. This is going to look like a joker smile. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with that.
<laughs> Do you want to know how I got these? Yeah. <laughs> that That is a parody that I am not making. <clears throat> now I do kind of want to watch that movie again. That was by far the best Batman movie we've had in a while. scale down a little <clears throat> and we've got a fur material here now it's going to affect how it looks basically just the color. It's basically just the color, isn't it? And do something more fun than that. <clears throat> Shows up so much worse in his teeth when it's black hair. But now we should have, let me just speed that up a little. <clears throat> I hesitate to ask, but, but Anka, is this what you wanted? Is this really what you wanted? I guess we'll keep going from here. <clears throat> There's no turning back. There's no turning back. Let's let's try and clean up a bit more of the teeth. Oh, wrong. Wait. Zero. Actually, I do have some weight kind of controls that might be more helpful here than just drawing everywhere. Let's get a little less hair on there. Because um, I think there's a command that will basically expand the range everywhere. Uh, levels, I think. Um, yeah, if I... Bump the gain and minus 0.5 for the offset. And that should make sure that everywhere that is dark is properly dark. And then I can smooth everything a little bit um, and contract it all. Yeah. <laughs> 
You want to screen cap that? That's... <laughs> that is a behind the scenes photo that you'll never forget. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if I give a bit of hair dynamics. It should hang flat a little bit, yeah. Uh, let's make it a little more stiff. Add a bit of random. So this is where we end up with a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Collect the full set of Hunker Polos and put in your Cat Boss play set. <laughs> uh. <laughs> your kids think you forgot about Christmas? Prove that you did not. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mustache. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, gonna, gonna have to do do the upper lip a little bit as well. It looks like. my <clears throat> can, I, can I just like override it add a razor okay fine mix, no, mix. just turn on accumulate What did you do while you were sick home with the Rona? Oh, I, I, I shaved the, the facial hair of a, a spider cat boss. What did you get up to? Uh, nothing, forget I asked. Shaved it off with <clears throat> a lot of cat hair in its teeth. A little bit down there as well. <clears throat> I wonder if I switch it back to a mid from faces, it'll be any better in that <clears throat> respect. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh yeah, everyone else's story is is no better than mine. There's there's no escaping what happened here. <laughs> hey this <there>, one. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um it's it's Capus. It's Capus and and we're making it we're making it hairy. We're making it hairy. Uh, I'm going to make the fur a little more stiff, even. <clears throat> Do we want it to be longer? <clears throat> I 
Oh, and Sugar Mochi's here as well now. Welcome. Welcome. Um... <laughs> So, so I'm really hoping that I can just copy this particle system onto other shapes. Uh, oh, and it looks like I can. It looks like I can. Oh, yeah, okay. Is it collection constraint relations link transfer collections? That can't be right. <clears throat> oh, that was not right at all. I'm glad undo works. Um. <clears throat> How can I share that particle system? Ah, there we go. Copy active to selected objects. Bam! Everyone's got the fur. I don't think it copied the material properly. <laughs> I don't think it copied the material at all. <clears throat> hey, oh, oh, that. That changed some things. <clears throat> oh, actually, we never set the, the material on these guys, did we? That's how it's all ended up with the face. It's going to really struggle to render the hair with everything now, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Particle system. The faces on the legs help. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ulfik. Uh, look what I did. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to look much better once I actually get all of the... Um, <clears throat> oh, that's what's wrong. The density. Okay, you don't need a density setting. That's the problem. <laughs> ah, now it's furry, furry all over. Ah. <clears throat> ah, and you've probably gotten up. Oh boy, yeah, you cannot see much when it's doing that. <clears throat> doing that. Let's let's turn off. Okay, so I'll briefly turn off. I feel like this is probably. <clears throat> I'll briefly turn off that. Why isn't my material quite right either? Does that do you not have? <clears throat> There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, this is Uncas. But there's there's the original. There's the reference drawing. Uh, oh, I still got to add whiskers. Still got to add whiskers. I'll add whiskers in a bit. Uh, here's the spider cat. It's got all of its legs. They they all kind of creepily dance around. <clears throat> uh, it's a bus. Bus has got seats in it now. It's a fast bus. Uh, and if I turn it... Well, actually. It's working hard because it's baking all sorts of animations. I should just be able to bake all of that. <clears throat> now model is all on the seats. No, this is uh, this is going to be the, the base part of the collection and then everyone who subs to Anka is gonna have a little pop cap doll you know the big head ones that bounce and you've got to collect them all <clears throat> and the only way to 
collected is to basically send Uncle all your money. And I've already taken all the dignity. I, that's all gone. I, like that's that's used up now. There's no dignity, no dignity left. Just money. And that's how we're going to <clears throat> um, create the community that goes in here. So okay, collection is all. That's all bait. So now we should get. Now the fur itself should not be too slow, but. <clears throat> Let's skip ahead and try and get a render. What's my camera angle look like? That's fine. Uh, let's just slightly. Come on, you can resize. Doesn't want to go to just the right part of the screen, so you get slightly offset. Um, that's po possibly the fur is a bit too shiny. I think that's. Um, and apparently has part of the face mixed into it. I think that's what's going on there. Oh no, it's reflecting the color of the bus. <laughs> it's reflecting the bus. <clears throat> Uh, this is gross. This is so gross. <laughs> it's very, I mean, it, it does actually, by the end, it does look good. By, by the end, the shininess of the fur does look good. It's possibly still too much. <laughs> but <sighs> they... <laughs> <clears throat> and so that that was about a minute worth of rendering. Uh, my my computer is gonna have to spend uh, ten hours overnight <laughs> rendering the full animated version of this. <laughs> Um, which I'll probably then just burn and never, never share again because, my goodness, what have I done? What have I done? Uh... <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. <clears throat> um, okay, let's set up. <coughs> uh, let's set up a little bit of motion so when it does go and render it is going to actually do something interesting upload the blender project to the server um, I, I I think what we need to do is just like we, we need to convince May to, to work it into something good and before she sees it, I think she's the only person who hasn't yet seen it. <laughs> and so is the only one likely to accept the challenge uh, without without knowing what the what the risk is. Uh, why are you not all parented? Oh, they're not all parented, are they? Okay, let's. Um, I can never remember which is the right option here. You may have been sharing a lot of clips and screenshots already. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, and I've got to move all of those as well. Okay, okay. Uh, well, in that case, you, you've no hope. There's no hope. Um, this, this will never become anything. Uh, I guess I better put the bus seats in there as well. Hey, does that actually follow? Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Uh, okay. 
shit make it louder. <laughs> uh, yeah, <clears throat> I mean... To some extent, that is the only valid response. Okay, so let's take that keyframe there. Uh, and in amongst all of the walking up, we're going to move... I gotta do my tail again. Is my tail just completely gone? Can I remove the tail? <clears throat> oh no, there it is. So we'll have it walking up, the lights will follow it because that's what they're already set up to do. And I'm going to try and have the camera angle rotate around it. So we'll kind of get this flyby. And end up watching it go off into the distance. That's, that's the idea. That's the idea, that's the theory. That's the theory. Uh, now to do that, I want... Um, what I actually want is another empty. Another empty. Empties are so handy for all of this stuff. Uh, I'll use axes for this one. And then uh, I'm going to parent the camera to that empty. Not that empty. Where'd it go? There it is. Camera target. <clears throat> What'd you do? Oh, <laughs> you were sick home. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. It's true though. It's true. <clears throat> uh, okay, cool. So now I have... Oh, that was the wrong way around. Uh, camera target. Okay, so now if I rotate the camera target... Oh, not around. Uh, in fact, let's... Reset the camera's position first. <clears throat> 90, 90, and we'll push it back by... There it is. It's coming! It's coming! <clears throat> okay. Uh, now we'll assign to there and keep the transform. <clears throat> Just realize my channel points name, but vinyls? Yeah. I normally do music stuff. Like if I was doing Blender all the time, then I'd come up with something Blender related. Okay, so what this gives me is now I can animate the <clears throat> the um the camera around that point. So I can have kind of a whole lot of independent movement animation. It's just far easier to control. <clears throat> so I can start with it at about there. as the boss moves. Actually, I don't want to start it about there. I want to... Oh, not that one. <clears throat> not that one. Start it around there and a bit below. That's above. Kind of... It's the faint outrage of calling them finals. <laughs>
<clears throat> okay, so that should give me... <sighs> Let's slow that one down a little bit. Uh, oh, really? Is that, it's the plural, is it? It's vinyl in the dictionary. Ah! Eh. Eh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just a little worried that not enough of the walk is getting in the camera shot. Because that's where the camera line's cutting off. So, I probably need to... Um, shift this back. Possibly... Down a bit. Oh, actually, let's start in close and then back out. <clears throat> actually, that's that's pretty good up to there. <clears throat> That's terrifying. That is, that is terrifying. <clears throat> I'm not happy about that. Oh, why am I angled by 90 degrees? That's not good. And then the last kind of bit will just be to turn to watch it as it goes past. <clears throat> hey there, Lala, welcome. How you doing? Been a while. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so, uh, oh no, I'm disconnected. <laughs> uh, that is almost. <coughs> That is almost certainly because I pre-baked some of the physics and then changed everything. So if I clear my physics cache, wherever that is, uh, where does that go? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere I've got a physics cache. It might be on the tail itself. Oh, I didn't give the tail fur. Uh, uh, where, where is it? It's all under, it's under Ember, which is the body. Let's give it a more sensible name. Um, cat, it's not under cat face, it's cylinder. Cylinder is tail. It's not cached. It's not. It's already not cached. Uh, and actually, that reminds me. I want to make my frame rate thirty.
There we go. It has figured itself out. Um, okay. That's <laughs> the, the version with the hair. It does look fairly incredible, doesn't it? Uh, speaking of that, let's... Let's do a copy. And uh, that probably... Select all. <coughs> <Yeah. clears throat> okay. So that should give us fur on the tail. So it is going to have to recalculate everything now. It's probably. Uh, it probably just means I just got to replay it all. Tail, physics, just bake, just bake. Okay, <clears throat> let's do a quick render of this angle. Make sure that we're getting decent fur on the tail. <clears throat> If it ever gets started, it's probably having to calculate all of the fur physics up until this point. <clears throat> uh, or it's frozen. No, no, it's not frozen. Still calculating. Okay, yeah, stop that job. Uh, just bake all dynamics. <laughs> See you later, Swan. Thanks for dropping in. I don't... <clears throat> Complaining about errors, is it? No. I think it's just getting itself stuck in the let's try and calculate everything so that we have everything calculated and then we can render. <clears throat> and it probably doesn't like that being cancelled. At least that's what it looks like. Or it could be crashing. <clears throat> could be crashing. Can't rule out that it could be crashing. <clears throat> Let's see if killing it helps. Because it's Blender. <clears throat> This is one of the things that makes it hard to stream Blender, is if I was actually streaming from this machine, it would have all sorts of, <clears throat> um, it'd, it'd just be crazy interfering with, with OBS right now. It would be terrible. You probably wouldn't be getting any frames. 
yeah, it's just murder. Bring out the Harry K's. <clears throat> All the killing. There we go. It's gone. <clears throat> Bring it back. Hopefully it's exactly where I left off. Um, yeah, that's the render window. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, now we bake all dynamics. And hopefully this is... Uh, let's, let's do a disk cache. Heavy compression. It's fine. Delete all bakes. That's fine. Bake all dynamics. Okay. <clears throat> now it should be calculating everything and storing it. So as long as I don't change any keyframes at this point, it's fine. Uh, it last saved right before I killed it, luckily. <clears throat> Things were working, but it had like this big background operation that was taking up all of the processor. And that wasn't interrupting. So, <clears throat> so I was able to save it. Uh... And then kill it. And that interrupted everything. I hope. We'll find out. Okay, that should be all my physics. So now let's try a render. Um, and it should be getting right into... Right into rendering. Maybe. Fingers crossed. No. No, it does it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna do any samples. Huh, weird. Very weird. Very very weird. It is working on something though, right? <clears throat> I hope it's not just stuck. This would be... Judging by how slow everything else is, I don't think it's stuck. Like, I don't think it's just... Zero CPU stuck. It's 100% CPU stuck. Oh, it sure feels like 100% everything stuck. Oh, I just realized that's still on CPU. Gee, that was that was dumb. <clears throat> Let's try canceling it again. Might just have to. Uh, might just have to kill it again. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you can switch to GPU. The the downside is you have to remember to do that. Uh, GPU computes already switched. Good. <clears throat> okay, let's see if that makes any difference. It's taking longer. Still working real, real hard. Well, hopefully this time, this time it's working the GPU real, real hard, which is kind of better. Hey, let's watch the temperature increase. 61 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be settling in. Uh, though it is also spinning CPU core. 
and a half. So. Kind of weird that I can't, can't render that frame. Yeah, no, I'm thinking about giving up on the stream about now. Are you going to stream? Are you streaming soon? Or, like, if I, you know, the next 15, 20 minutes? <laughs> or are you going to be longer than that? <clears throat> Everyone go fo follow Unka now so that you know when she goes live. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to raid. Because <clears throat> I'm going to have to give up on this sooner. And I gotta go eat. Let's see if I can do this scene. There may just be too much fur. There may just be too much fur. And that's why I can't render anything. Oh, no, there we go. Can have a furry cat. Still got a whole lot of fur sticking through his teeth. Probably take a look at that. Run a few frames ahead. Can we get that angle? be in an hour yeah no, that's fine that's fine I oh man I <clears throat> I still don't like it I still don't like it but there's, there's something very uh, fundamentally wrong uh, okay I am gonna try and quickly fix up the weight paint here, because this is still putting hairs where they don't belong. Hopefully that's better. It's a little more work to check now, unfortunately. Uh, let's hide the reference pick. Uh, because, because I baked all of the physics. So, <clears throat> so because of that, uh, I've got to delete all bakes. <clears throat> uh, there again, it doesn't seem to have any. That cache setting was that only for the tail? It was. Oh, okay. I have to do each object individual. That's annoying. <clears throat> That's annoying. This library path? What? Wish I'd thought of this before I copied it everywhere. Also got other physics. <clears throat> so we'll make that physics first, which is the the um 
the fabric one. <clears throat> then we're gonna have to go through each of these individually. So I think before I do that, I'll add an HDR just for some fancy background. Go for space, I guess. Uh, and do some basic renders, make sure that looks okay. And that, then I'm gonna leave it. And then I'm gonna leave it. So, I don't know, five minutes left, hopefully. Assuming no kind of crashes or anything. I can probably do other stuff while it's doing that, can't I? Nope. Nope, cannot do a thing while it's doing that. <clears throat> uh, I do also want to turn down the, the shininess on the... on the, um the fur just a bit <clears throat> it's very shiny it might look fine in the animation it might have like a nice kind of shimmering effect but just in case it doesn't and considering this is going to take 10 hours to render um I'm, I'm not i'm not prepared to wait that long to find out so i'll just turn it down a little bit to be safe it'll still be shimmer if it's shimmery it'll still be shimmery it's just if it's not it won't be as disgusting i hope in theory. <clears throat> okay, tail physics bait. Let's get the fur material. Yep, right. Uh, so I'm just going to set that to 0.2. That's all. Just that. Uh, okay, let's pick an HDR, which is that one. Space. Out of space. Uh... Oh man, these are cool. Gonna go high res on this one. Has that done it? Ah, oh, that we're in space. We're in space. Okay, let's just turn the... <clears throat> this is a super bright background. <clears throat> I feel like I want this, uh, let's put this light below. How's that going to... Is that going to track with my angles? Nice. shining straight up its butt. <clears throat> perfect. I think, I think that's perfect. Okay, and so with that, I've, I've just got grunt work to do to finish that up. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for coming and hanging out, everyone who came and hung out. Uh, everyone who lurked, thanks for lurking. And... Uh, hopefully, I mean, hopefully I'm feeling better in the next couple of days. Selfishly, mostly. 
Um, I also do need to buy groceries at some point, but <clears throat> most of my friends got it around here got it at the same time. So there's very limited people to deliver stuff. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, hopefully I do get better because I do have some music to mix. Uh, probably at worst. I will get to that by Sunday. Uh, Tony Mix has a couple new tracks to, to do. So hopefully I'll be back on schedule by Sunday. Uh, but if I'm still stuck sitting around, I'm meant to be back at work tomorrow, which we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Because I don't, I mean, I guess if my brain can do this and it can do work. So, so back to work. But keep an eye out. I might be, I might do another I might do another crazy blender thing. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Thanks for joining. Uh, catch. Uh, is there anyone to raid? Who's who's on? Who who is on? Uh, let me bring out my my dashboard and everything. What do we got? People that I'm following. Uh, oh, Kate is playing Banished. Let's go, let's go chill with Kate playing Banished. Uh, because, yeah, Kate's chill and fun. And probably, probably losing her mind and, and losing all of her peeps. So, let's go do that. Go say hi. Uh, I don't have a raid message. I'll just say hi. And catch you all another time. Bye.